Playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies solo is ridiculously hard and I'm sure many people haven't even entered the tier 3 zone yet. In this video I am going to show you how to start a game from scratch without any equipment, get a legendary weapon, pack a punch it all the way to tier 3, then use this weapon to farm rare unlocks. You'll stumble upon rare items like the Flawless Ethereum Crystal which pack a punches your weapon to tier 3 in one click and all of the wonder weapons. Let's jump right into the video, as you see right here I have absolutely nothing for the tactical I have a stun grenade for the lethal of frag and for the field upgrade I have the energy mine. Once it spawns you in, the first thing you want to do is pull out your minimap and try to locate a fast vehicle. Ideally, you will want the quad, the ATV, this is the quickest, but if there isn't one nearby you, you can hop into anything that will allow you to move quicker. Once you come across any buildings on your way to your vehicle, you can loot them in the hopes of finding a blue rarity weapon, this is going to be very important for the next step. The green and blue rarity weapons aren't too hard to find in this area to be honest, so it shouldn't take you too long. Once you've located a decent weapon, you'll want to start by finding your first combat contract. This is going to get us our first chunk of cash. Also, keep an eye on the minimap if you haven't found a weapon yet. There is wall buy locations all over and at this point we are going to complete a few contracts just to build up enough money for the next step. You can complete any contracts of your choosing, however, the ones that I ultimately prefer doing for speed and efficiency are the raid weapon stash, deliver convoy, and eliminate bounty target. Just a quick tip for the raid weapon stash contract, you don't have to be right beside it, you can be outside so you don't get trapped and you'll still be able to complete it. Once you finish the contract, go to the reward rift and you'll want to loot it for whatever it gives you. Hopefully you'll get a perk and this is going to start building up your arsenal. Always make sure you have your vehicle nearby and try not to crash into too many things, speed is extremely important in this game mode. From here just continue completing a few more contracts until you save up 5000 essence, this is extremely important for the next step and this is what makes the Whole strategy. The deliver cargo contracts are very easy, you'll just have to go to one garage, pick up the cargo and then just deliver it to the final destination. Once you have 5000 points or essence at least, this is where the fun begins. Make sure you've got a fast vehicle for this portion and you'll want to zoom into the tier 3 area which is highlighted in the middle in red. Zoom into the minimap and you'll be able to find multiple weapon wall buy locations. Now for this we are going to perform a drive by wall buy, there's going to be a mega abomination right there, go ahead and jump off your vehicle and purchase the legendary wall buy off of the weapon. For the most part these will always be legendary, however there was a few instances where it was of purple rarity, if that's the case simply drive to another location and buy yourself a legendary. Next you'll want to collect 5000 essence, if you're running short you can sell a couple items at the buy station, if you don't have any simply do another contract until you have 5k. Make your way over to a pack-a-punch machine and pack-a-punch your legendary weapon. You now have an extremely powerful weapon at tier 1 pack-a-punch that can almost obliterate most zombies in just one shot. From here you'll be able to farm contracts and you'll be able to eliminate high value targets extremely quick and this is what makes the strategy so efficient. If you receive any perk cans, go ahead and drink them. If you already have the perk, stow it in your inventory for the next game. Ultimately what you are after in this step is acquisitions and schematics. Schematics will allow you to craft things such as wonder weapons, perk cans, ether tools which will upgrade the rarity of your weapon right at the start of the game. Right here for example I open up the rift and I get a shatter blast formula. If I successfully exfil with this it is going to permanently unlock the craftable item. Once you've collected 10,000 essence make your way over to a tier 2 area pack a punch machine and upgrade your legendary weapon to tier 2. One very important tip that I have is if you by chance come across the speed cola machine or you get it in the reward rift make sure to use it. It will allow you to equip armor plates extremely quick and it is going to help you out in tight situations. At this point with the exact setup I showed you how to get, this is tier 3 and as you can see it obliterates zombies extremely quick. I would also highly recommend getting Deadshot Dacry because it increases the critical hit. That being said, if you nail the zombies right in the head, they'll go down extremely fast. At this point you can either continue farming contracts at tier 2 or you can risk it for the biscuit, make your way to the tier 3 pack-a-punch machine and upgrade your weapon to the max. At this point you should be powerful enough to complete contracts in the tier 3 zone for the high rarity rewards. One thing that I must mention is that I've completed a decent amount of contracts in the tier 3 zone and a lot of the times the rewards weren't great. On the contrary, in tier 2 zones I was able to get a lot of rare rewards for the rifts and you're able to complete them much quicker since the zombies have less health. Now the step is extremely important, once the timer is ticking down or you are satisfied with the loot you got in this game, make your way over to any exfil site. If you run it all the way to the very end where there is no more exfil spots there is going to be a final exfil that spawns. 
This is going to be located at the furthest point away from where the cloud spawns, so just keep an eye on the minimap. Once you successfully exfil, you will see all of the items that you've unlocked, the acquisitions you'll be able to load into the next game with, and the schematics are permanent unlocks for you to use. So now for the next game, instead of starting from scratch, you can equip some of these acquisitions and start right from the very beginning with a pack-a-punched powerful weapon. Since we exfilled with the legendary weapon in our hands, you'll notice in your contraband stash you will have the weapon with five attachments. Thank you so much for watching the video. I wish you an awesome day. Peace.